Okay, welcome back. Let's continue. Now, I've place access to your screen. Come again. I can't see your screen. Mine is showing. Oh, please check your connection. Check it. Me too. Mine is showing. Yeah, so meaning check your connection, please. Very fast. We have a lot to do. Okay. Okay. That's fine. Let's move on. Now, now I've specified type your name. That's where the person is going to type his or her name in my form. Now I want the I want to take the person's email address too. So it's the same thing. I want to take the person's email address. The same thing. So what I will specify there is email. Email. You see, it's email. And I'll type, see, type your email address. Okay, very nice. And I'll say, I want to take the person's, um, let me see. Okay. Not missed. Okay, mobile mobile number. Oh, I think. It's mobile number. Number. Can you please? All right, let's continue. So the number I want to take the person's number. So I'll say number. entire number very nice i'll save it then i'm going to okay i want to bring a submit button a submit button okay before that let's let, let's go and view this before okay so to our straight to our website uh where is my okay let me refresh my page Okay, so welcome to my info website. You can see I can type my name. Oh, I can type I can type my name here very quick. My name is um let me see Tom. Person can type the name. And I come here, it says type your email address. So Tom at yahoo.com. Then your mobile number will be typing a whole lot. Okay, now I want to. So, is it the first one we did automatically? I told you automatically it's going to be in this in this form, like in a horizontal form. But I want this to be arranged in a vertical order. So, I will just go here and put each one, each of them here in as a, a paragraph a paragraph each of the field in a paragraph each of the input field So the form, you can add as many things you want to add on your form. It depends on you and it depends on the information you want to take from that person. You can add as many forms you want. Okay. Now, let me, let me add a legend, a legend here. I would like to add a legend to my field. It's not compulsory. You can add it or not. So for my, I want to add a legend. Legend is simply title of the form. So legend. Now say provide your details for me. I'll save it. Then I'm going to view. Okay, so you can see 
provide your details for me, then your name will be there. Okay, your name will be there, your email address, your number. You can actually add more to it. You can you can add more to this thing. Let me see. Okay, any question before we move on, before we add the, the, the next one? You can also, the, the field set is not compulsory. It's not compulsory. You can choose to remove the field set. Field set. So I've removed mine. I'm going to check. As I said, you as a programmer, you own your own design. So you want, you can choose to add a field set or not. Here, I've removed the field set. This is what's looking on my website right now provide your details for me so the person will come will have the ability to type anything okay now let's go to the, the validation of this form form consists of a whole lot you can do with a form okay so let me i'm trying to make the field i'm taking at least five uh, so name email address number let me add location to it then i'll bring something location so the location to i'm take is a test location to is a test here so location location then please with that say your location type your location okay so number location let me add one uh, country let me see country country type your country Okay, so your location, let me specify here, city. Okay, very nice. Okay, now the next thing we are coming to add is say about a verification or how we can bring a button for submission. Okay, so here we can bring a submit button. So submit will also come in the same type. So you add another input. But here, the value, it's going to be a value. And the value of this input is going to be saved. This is what I mean. So let's give it a different, let's place it in a different paragraph here. Then we will bring our input. type of input we, are, we want here now the type of input we want here is submit submit your mind should go to submission submit okay then this submit this is different in, in this submit you are going to bring value value so the value here we are going to have here is we want to save it we want to actually save this information okay um, where is it okay save it let's go and view from our website very fast okay so you can save it you can save it now let's change something let's make this thing publish oh no the publish should be here rather publish value okay 
So let's go. Watch something here. Okay. So let's type name Tom. Email address Tom at Yahoo dot com. The number type. Your city, then publish. For the for this publish will work when you connect your data your your front end with the data beside the back end. We are not there yet. When you connect it, it's going to pick every information here and and send it to wherever you the programmer you want to store the information. That's for publish. Now let in the case we use save. So save. So again, Tom, email address, Tom at yahoo.com. The number, you want to say, city, say Accra. country, we are saying Ghana. The save here. Now look at something. When you click on save, go to your address, go to the top of your address. You will see your address will come with some things. So you see name. If you can see my screen, where my 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 mouse is, you can see from the address bar. Name is equal to V G C J C H. So it has actually picked whatever in this form. And it, it is trying to submit it wherever database you've committed. So you see the number there is there. So it has picked everything. Everything is here. This is how forms work. When you finish typing and click on your save or the submit, it picks it. Then directly transfer it to whatever the programmer wants it to be stored either in a database or wherever or in a file any question when you go ahead i will let i'll teach you how to save it in a file so that while the person enters it here and the person clicks on save you the programmer would have a file somewhere then all the details will be in that file for you to see okay but for now this is the front end we are at least any question before we move on Please, can you go over the difference between save and publish? Okay. So the difference between save and publish means for the publish is going to transfer the file to wherever the, 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 the you, the programmer, you want the information to be published. Now, there are some, there are some websites you can go and actually type your things. Uh, you click on publish, it will publish on the website. That's the case where we use the publish. If you are building a website whereby users can actually post comments there, users can actually um, add some things on the website as published. But you are building a website, this form, you are building a form whereby the user will click on save, you or she will not see any information. It will just be gone. You, the programmer, is going to receive that information. It's where you are going to add the save value. Please do get it. Yes, please. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. Please, any question, then we move on very fast. okay so this is a form and this is how we build a form on your website you want to build a form on your website this is actually how there are more to it there are more to this thing okay let's, so let me try and add a password to it a password
a password is just where, where is hope you can, can all see my screen um so let me add a password here it's just basically the same the same field you add you can add multiple things to it but here you change it to password so um, change here password password and uh, here i will specify and tell the person type your password and it is required of you so you see i'll start typing my password then it will be in this form whereby you can see you can also save your password so i'll just be typing my password so these there are a whole lot you can be adding for your form what you need to know is just how to set up your form and you can be adding more things you can be adding the person's mother's name father's name whatever you want to do as a programmer you know what websites you need and what you want to build you can add more to it okay basically up to now you should be able to build a website that contains a form for people to fill it all right let's move on the form this is not all you there's more to it go through your reading materials and add more to it there's more you need to know or more you can learn and add this is the basic knowledge you have for a form basic form knowledge you can build you can add if you want to add more complex things you can read more about it and add more of which i'll encourage you to do so because you will build a website the website will, might need some extra features read more about forms then be adding more to it on your own okay now the next thing on our agenda is um let me see so in a form to you can add upload a file upload a file you can also add upload of uploading of your file now let's try and add uploading of file let me see so you you come here is the same as the input to so input So you can see the form you can add so many things to a form you can add so many things to a form so you can create your own google form using your own code so i'll come the name i'll specify file submission file submission file submission uh, sub mission file submission placeholder clear the placeholder yes file submission and you add another one that's to the file you add another one another input to let me clear the required here not everyone is going to okay so file submission here to you you specify the type to be submit submit then you add your value is upload your file upload your file so you add a value of uploading your file let's save it and go and view very quick so you can see oh psh, let me let me clear this one I'll double, I'll double something, upload your file, uh, which one, oh, ah, okay, the, the submit, the, the submission, let me clear this one, okay, let's, let's quickly view and move on.
Okay, so you see these Google form you've been seeing, or these forms you've been filling, whereby it will ask you to upload a file or something. It's not something difficult here. You just click on this one. You see, my my has opened my files has opened. So I'll just select a file, upload it. You see the file sele I selected is here. Then I'll just click on upload your file, then it will upload. So you can do a whole lot with forms. You can actually build a full Google form for yourself. Please, any question before we move on? Very simple. Uh, is it this class I taught how to insert an image on a website, please? Yes, sir. Okay. So you see, oh, someone is asking something. Yes, okay, okay. So, sir. yes, please, I'm listening. Please, some of us are picking from um, yes, um, Saturday's class. So maybe if you want to continue, then you have to give us maybe the cheat for it. So that you'll yes. Be able to yes i'll give you the cheat sheet i'll repost it in your various um channel so that um yes we, we you can get along with that now you see this form i want to insert a picture so maybe i want to build something like a google form i have this i want to insert a picture on top here so that it will be like a google form you can do that you can you just have to bring so let me go and do that very fast you can do a lot with your form now let me come here welcome to my site now see now in setting a form see img src src then let me see what's the name of my picture uh, um, off dot gp so i'll see um, of dot gp of dot my my this thing is really disturbing me of dot gp of dot gp gp please okay so let's 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 move on very fast let me see if my file is actually there or i've deleted it okay i think it's there yes it's there so let me let me try and view it so i told you guys to go and learn how to actually alter your image size if you just insert the image the full image is going to be inserted on your website and you won't like it learn how to adjust image sizes on your website please it's very it's some small code view add it's very simple so you see on my on my website i'll have my image so i'm building a google form i'll have my top the, the top image then you see provide your details for me then here all this here then a submit button then you are done you've built a full form for someone to fill it okay your next trial your next assignment please do it in your sample files go and build a google form for yourself your own google form insert a picture at the top get the person's details and bring a submit button at the added down everyone in this class you are supposed to build a google form at least let me show you one google form you can go and build go and build a google form maybe some of you will be confused so let me open one form what form do i have um uh, okay now i'm giving you the the registration form of blue code dark club go and build such form using the html using so far what, what we have learned go and build exact such form using the html so let, i'm sending you their link where is the link uh, where can i find the registration form i'm sending you the registration form link so pick it from the chat session i'm posting it there 
when big data is going to build exact form using the HTML. So, okay, so this is their form. Okay, this is their form. Uh, I think their form is closed, but let me see. We can still build it. Let me see. Okay, so everyone pick the link from the chat session. Pick the link. Now, when you go open this link and build the exact form, do the same form. Here, add upload on their form on their registration form. They don't have upload anything. Nothing is being uploaded. Add upload something. They upload. Let the person be able to upload something, a file or something. So, for what you've learned today. I've sent you the link in the chat session. Pick it, visit this form, and build using HTML. Build the exact same form using the so far the knowledge you've gotten. You can add extra things to it. It's fine. It's to your advantage. But build the exact form with the exact details. We have this checkbox. You can be taken, taken. Yes. And one thing they don't have on it is um, add upload a file. That one, I want you to add it to it. Upload how to upload the file, how to make someone upload, add it to them to the form. Please and we submit it to me. Those on Slack, DM me, and those on WhatsApp, I mean, your groups to DM me with your file before our next meeting. Okay, now we are done with forms. We are done with forms. What we are going to do is div, div, the, the division element, how to divide your website. Okay, let me clear everything and start. The div, how to divide your website. Um, It says I've already submitted my yes uh, just uh try and try editing it or something try editing it yeah. please don't click on submit um yes oh should i uh, let me see Or oh, let's use the uh, hackathon registration form. That one, uh, that one too. Some people have failed it. Okay. Mm. Okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. This is what I will do. I'm going to create a form using Google Form. Then send it to you. I will send the link in your Slack channel and those on WhatsApp to, to you. You are going to build the same exact, the exact same form. You are going to build exact same form. So please disregard, disregard this. Or could you get as the source code? So we no, I can't give you a source code. As a programmer, there is no way I should give you a source code. Please build your own source code. I'm going to build, I'm going to create a Google form. Now I will send you guys all the link. So we'll be checking your Slack channels and your WhatsApp groups. They will be posting it. Now look on this form and build exacting 
using HTML so far what we've done. Build the exact same form. You have ability to build Google from using your own code. Build a exact form. So I'll create after this class, I'll quickly create a Google form, then share the link with you all. Okay, so don't use the blue code club form anymore. Yes, because some people have filled it and it will block you from assessing it. Okay, let's go. Now our next target is the the okay let's do navigation element before we tap to division element now when you talk about navigation element you see on a website on a particular website you want to bring a navigation on your bar on not on your bar like on your website you want to bring a navigation on your website so that when when someone comes to your website you can click on about go to the about session contact session or something so this one very quick it's very simple it's called nev it's called nev it's called nev it's very simple you should know okay Every nerve should lead to something. So every navigation um, you will bring on your website, every navigation point you will bring on your website should link the person to something. So this is my website. Okay, welcome to my info site. Then I want to add a navigation. We will, we will use the same linking, the same linking tags. So the linking code, I'll see href so i'll say um wikipedia so the https https so i'm building a website whereby it can lead people to information websites so wikipedia dot com so wikipedia wikipedia okay i want to bring another name so i want to see um which one Let's see let me see google so let me see google i want to bring another one see yahoo yahoo yahoo.com okay save it very quick and i go to my website to view it okay so you see it's linked like this now i want to actually make it i'll break it may i want to make it uh vertical So breaking it, we will, we will just let's make let's bring instead of the the instead of the paragraph, let's bring a break here. Very fast. So you come to my website. I have menu menu on my website okay there is something you can do let's try something center seeing it okay there is something this is what i was talking about so i'm 
I'll, I'll um, introduce center around the, the main navigation tag. Let's see what will happen. So center, so we are building a navigation bar. Okay, let's go and continue. Please, our session can end in a minute, any moment from now. We will rejoin again then very fast. We take from there. Okay, before that, let's continue. Okay, so now I don't want this break something. I just want a bar. So you can see on my website, I have my navigation, but I have Wikipedia, Google, Yahoo. Google, Yahoo. So you see, I am building, actually building pure website. You can feel it. So there's my navigation. Let me let me clear the top one. Welcome to my, let me clear the top one. So I won't bring this welcome, then I'll save it very fast. I'll go here. So you can see when you visit my website, we have my navigation bar. You can list as many as you want. Let me add another one. We are building real website here. Let's go. Navigation bar. Let me add another one.